Hello, it is Monday, July 24th, 2023. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It's a Monday puzzle today, which means we should have a relatively approachable, gentle, themed crossword to start the solving week. Hope you're looking forward to that. Uh, none of that jumbo grid business from, from yesterday's Sunday puzzle, although I did very much enjoy that Sunday puzzle. Um, in any case, today's approachable, ordinary sized grid is brought to us by Laura Sexton, Victoria Rojishka, Kathleen Quinn, and as always, the indomitable Showmaster and the incredible Horan family. So thank you so much to the five of them benefactors of the Daily Solve Patreon campaign for their generous support. They are sustaining this channel, keeping this series going. For that, I'm extremely grateful. Thank you to them. Thank you to everybody who has backed the Daily Solve Patreon campaign. Um, it does mean a lot to me, and it does keep it going. So thank you. And if you'd like to support the channel in that manner, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field. There, of course, you can find the bonus videos and for benefactors, the Let's Check the Crosses Daily Solve official mug. All right. Um, it would also be great if you could subscribe to the channel on YouTube. That's a huge help. And you could also join the Daily Solve Discord chat server if you'd like to um, chat and hang around with other members of this community and discuss crosswords and other puzzles. All right, let's get on to today's crossword. Let's solve it. This is a construction by John Eubank, who constructed around half a dozen puzzles for the New York Times. It was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. And of course, it's a Monday-themed crossword. So let's start solving. Let's see what's in store for us today. Blank Newton's Chewy Snack Fig Newtons are those little fig-stuffed uh, treats. Blank point where lines converge. A focal point, I would think that is. You know, lines of perspective or whatever else. Um, artist activist Yoko Ono, of course, the official, the official solo artist and activist of the New York Times crossword. I would say she has, she's been recently um, pulling ahead of Brian Eno. I would have, a few years ago, if you'd asked me about this, I wouldn't have known what you were talking about. But once you explained what you were talking about, I would have said, oh, probably Brian Eno is the official solo artist of the New York Times crossword. But I think it's becoming Yoko Ono. Now, laughably stupid, inane, perhaps? Must informally. If you must do something informally, you've got to do it. I've got to solve this crossword. Livestock holders on freight trains or cattle cars, I would think. And that's part of the theme. I don't yet know what it is. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what. I have. I'm, I'm trying to avoid reading the, the revealer. Because <laughs> so I was wondering if I could come up with any ideas, but I can't seem to. Not in, If you're not in favor of something, you're anti-it. Holders of cash next to cash registers, maybe tip jars, could hold cash on a, on a um, checkout counter. And to jump is to leap, as straightforward as that. Note after fa, uh, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. There we go. I had to run through that in my mind. Well, not even in my mind. I did it aloud. Uh, those are the notes of the uh, musical scale uh, as represented in the sol the solfege system, which is that, which is what those are, uh, do, re, mi, fa, sol, la, ti, do. All right. Friendly gathering could be a soiree, maybe? Think of a soiree as being a bit more formal. I wonder if this is correct. It is not correct. Okay. My suspicion was justified because here for the second day in a row, we have Aer Lingus, the major Irish um, airline, sort of mainline carrier as opposed to Ryanair, for instance. The L of UCLA is uh, Los Angeles. This is the University of California at Los Angeles. And so a friendly gathering is a social. There we go. You could say you could have a few people over for a bit of a social. An ominous end of a threat could be or else. You could issue an ultimatum in that manner. And a drink served with marshmallows could be cocoa. Often has marshmallows floating and melting into it. Beginning of a balcony soliloquy. This is O Romeo um, from Romeo and Juliet. And uh, Romeo and Juliet itself was mentioned. Well, I mentioned it, I guess, in the crossword one or two days ago in reference to an answer of serenade, I think. Poker player's bold declaration. I'm all in, you could say, would be a bold declaration if you're very confident in your hand and you're putting everything on it. That's hilarious in a text. LOL, there we go. Laughing out loud or lots of laughs as, a, as whatever your preference 
B in that one. And then partner of a pepper mill would be a salt shaker. So we have cattle cars and salt shaker. Well, they're alliterative. That's something. Cattle cars, salt shaker. There are ATs and Ls in there. I don't know. That doesn't seem very sufficient. Yeah, I don't know. Blank. Oh, no, it's not salt shaker. Oh, maybe they'll end up being anagrams. Because salt is present in cattle cars and it's not shaker. It occurred to me that there wasn't a K, for instance. Let's see. So Les Miserables. So not a salt shaker, but what is the partner of a pepper mill? A salt... Uh, well, yeah, it is an anagram because from cattle cars, we could anagram this and spell salt cellar, which is uh, indeed a vessel used to hold salt more in the kitchen rather than on a table, which is what I was in initially thinking about. But yeah, pepper mill, I suppose that makes sense. So, right. So these are anagrams. Okay. So that'll be, that'll be the theme somehow. Coffee slangly is Joe. That was in the um, connections, the New York Times connection word game within the last couple of days as a slang term for coffee. Popeye's olive oil is uh, Popeye's girlfriend, girlfriend, I guess, olive oil. Annual observance for a global organization for short. Something day, I suppose. For a global organization, UN day? I don't know, is there, uh, I'm just trying to think of what global organizations could possibly, could have a day in the UN maybe. Consumers, users, yeah, maybe it is that. Major honor for a university sports team. Uh, that I do not know. Oh, right, and here, we've, re we've reached our revealer naturally, so I suppose I will read it now. With 38 across, symbols of a scandal. Or what, a smoking guns now? Or what 16, 23, 47, and 58 across consist of in their entirety? Snarled... Uh, I'm not sure. Symbols of a scandal. Oh, I don't know. It's so frustrating. Large scale epic, maybe? It does kind of look like snarled, doesn't it? Or it's swirled. Swirled rumors? Oh, that would be, that would, never mind. That would be spelling rumors in the British manner, which wouldn't be appropriate here. Anyway, never mind. Um, okay, I just don't know what this is. Major honor for university sports team. Right. NCO, NCAA something? Uh, oh, Scarlet, let, the Scarlet, well, the Scarlet letter is a symbol of a scandal in the sense of, you know, Hester Prynne wearing the Scarlet A for adulterer. Um... So what is it? Oh, oh, it does say symbols. Sorry, it is scarlet letters, maybe. So maybe these aren't anagrams. They're just taken from, oh no, scarlet. Oh, oh, I see. Wait, maybe they're not anagrams. Maybe they're just consisting of the letters in the word scarlet, but they're repeated a different number. Yes, that's true. Yes, sorry. These weren't an anagrams. Some of you were probably wondering what on earth I was talking about there, um, because it's not the case. There are two T's in cattle cars, only one in salt cellar. But they do use the same letter. I think this is maybe called a letter bank, possibly. It's a sort of, I think it was maybe a concept introduced by Will Shorts in the 1980s. I was, I, I read about this once. I, I, I've never really encountered them letter banks, or maybe I have once or twice. They're not very commonly used compared to anagrams. Um, but it's essentially we're, we're using the letters in Scarlet to create these other answers, but we can repeat the letters. It doesn't, it doesn't, we don't need to use each of them exactly once as you would in an anagram. Okay, there we go. And do they use all the letters? Scarlet, yes. And Scarlet, yes. I don't know if that's a requirement of a word of a letter bank, but we'll, we'll find out. Um, how closely we match the letters in Scarlet. Probably they'll all be used. Interesting. Okay, well, there we go. That was the theme. Uh, it would have been pretty astonishing if after two of these, I said, oh, it must be Scarlet letters. So 
Uh, not surprised, but I didn't on that one. Utmost informally. And the African elephant has, elephant has the largest of these among all animal, animals' ears. It's easy to imagine. If you hot-footed it, you ran. Utmost inform Oh, darndest. Utmost informally could be darndest, a sort of quaint way to say something is happening to the utmost degree. I'll try my darndest. I'll, I'll try to the utmost. Stay very far away from as from a hazard. Uh, using the letters from Scarlet. Stay very far away from. Steer clear. Yeah, there we go. And that uses only those letters. Very good. Okay, so the NCAA what is the major honor of a university sports team? NCAA uh, trophy doesn't fit. I don't know. Have the engine on while parked is to idle your vehicle. NCAA title. There we go. An NCAA title. That's what it is. You've won the title. Inedible part of the cherry is its stem, I would say, for humans, certainly. Bug-eyed red muppet is Elmo. Something happens in addition, and it, it also occurs. And 57 uncle associated with the 12 down. Uncle Sam associated with the USA, presumably. Uh, oh, here we go. The world's third most populous country after China and India. There we go. Yes, indeed. The United States. And then an African grazer is a new... Um, Presumably, let's check the crosses. One who accepts defeat gracefully is a good loser as opposed to a sore loser. Breaking update is a news alert. Yes, there we go. A radio tuner is a dial on a radio to tune the, uh, the frequency. And then, does that answer your question, you might ask? Here we have where Des Moines is, Iowa. There we go. Young fellows are lads. And Witherspoon of Legally Blonde, uh, Reese Witherspoon. Gotcha, you could say, I see. And then font style that the shortcut Control-I activates. Well, on a Windows computer, that would be uh, the italics style. 19th century writer, Brett. Brett Hart? That sounds familiar. I don't think I've ever read any Brett Hart. Not just, yes, okay, not just any would be the. Not just any answer, but the answer to this clue. And hair goop is gel. You could style your hair with hair goop gel. And a car part between the headlights would be the car's grill. Okay, let's see. What about up here? Hammers and sickles are tools. Debtor's notes could be IOUs, so sort of, I don't know, promissory notes or, or indications of debt. Rubik's cube is the classic toy puzzle thing, and then a stuck-up person is a snob. If someone's not moving, they are still. And lemon meringue and banana cream are, uh, those are kinds of pies. Spider-Man adversary who is struck by lightning. Um, I don't know, that seems like a fairly obscure reference. Uh, Spider-Man adversary who was struck by lightning, that's very specific, but I don't think I know the answer. Let's look at the crosses and see. Medicine tablet is a pill. Oops, there we go. So what was this? Opposite of post is pre, so opposite of the prefix for after would be the prefix for before. Elephant? <laughs> Hello. I don't know. What about this one? Long-running CBS drama. CSI, I would think. Broad tie uh, is an ascot, so the sort of broad bit of men's neckwear. Courses that might have models. All oh, right, here is our scarlet letters clue. So something sets. Um, a circle sets. I don't know why that would be anything. Doesn't fit anyway. There's no I to use. Oh, that's annoying. I was thinking maybe train sets or something, but I don't, it doesn't, obviously that's not correct. A doofus could be an ass, maybe. Let's get rid of this. That could be wrong. It's clicked on a desktop, an icon on a computer desktop. If you pried into somebody's business, you nosed into it, possibly a nosy person. Uh, guitar clamp is a uh, capo. So this is used to, um, you clamp it onto the neck of a guitar and it essentially adjusts where the neck of the car, the guitar begins for the purposes of uh, the frets. So it basically raises 
the whole uh, kind of note range of the guitar by one semitone for each fret um, up up the neck of which you position the capo. capo. Uh, the Magic Flute EG is an opera by Mozart. Down in the dumps, if you're down in the dumps, you're sad. Are you kidding me, you might ask? And Spanish houses are casas. So there we go. So courses that might have models. Oh, classes. Um, something classes, models. An economic model or a sort of model of an atom or a biology, a sort of anatomical model. Um, car classes? No. Why do I not see what this is? I don't know. Um, I don't know. I don't see it. Doofus. It does look like ass, doesn't it? So Christmas songs are carols, Christmas carols. Hams it up, emotes. Uh, sort of overacts, arguably. Card with a single spot on it is an ace. So uh, just only needs one pip or spot. Art, art classes, art classes. Why didn't I see that? So battering weapon is a ram. Is it a battering ram? So this is electro. I hope that's right. It is. Okay, great. Don't think I've heard of electro, but makes sense that that he or she, I'm guessing he um, was struck by lightning. There we go. All right. Uh, so we had our scarlet letters, the letters of the word scarlet used to construct our theme dancers. So a nice, relatively simple theme, all things considered, in the sense that we could answer it mostly from simply the uh, the clues without any reference to the theme. Although, well, and then I suppose as well, symbols of a scandal could be scarlet letters. You don't need to know anything about the theme. Um, but then once you do, it's nice to sort of fit it all in there. Uh, it came together well. It's a good Monday theme, uh, able to be solved through the ordinary clues alone. Um, but it was nicely constructed, and it uses used a sort of puzzle mechanic that I've rarely, if ever, encountered in the crossword. I may, I may well have, and just not don't remember it. But um, I think that's called a letter bank. I think that's what that is. So anyway, our scarlet letters were used to construct the phrases cattle cars, the livestock holders, salt cellar, the pet pepper mill partner, um, steer clear to stay far away from a hazard. And finally, art classes, courses with models. And there we have it. That was the Monday crossword. I do not have time, unfortunately, today for uh, clues from yesterday's puzzle. I'll hopefully get back to that tomorrow. But that was the Monday crossword. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will be back tomorrow, as I just inferred, <laughs> implied, I should say. Um, maybe you inferred it. Um, with the Tuesday crossword, when we will solve another relatively approachable themed puzzle. So join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Monday. Take care. Uh -huh.